Hi guys and welcome to My Digital Finance, the place you can keep updated on all cryptocurrency news. Today I'm going to be taking you through a how to buy off a Bitcoin exchange tutorial. Um, so as you can see on the front page, you're going to get sick and tired of this one, but this is Coin Market Cap again. Uh, this is the place where you can see every single uh, cryptocurrency that's out in the market at the moment. It's constantly being updated. So today there is a thousand three hundred thirty nine. Uh, coins in the market so this is where you're going to come I guess to to get a deeper knowledge of which coins you want to buy obviously it's this is in order of their market capitalization so bitcoins on the top it's been doing really really well now sitting around fifteen thousand um, dollars ethereum bitcoin cash iota always interested in looking at the top 10 because it's constantly changing card cardano has just been pushed out but this is the coin I want to focus on neo crazy that that's number 13 now as well wow really really interesting but today i want to focus on cardano just because it's a coin that's recently had a rise in the market um i want to see a little bit about this and then i'm going to take you through just one exchange uh how you can buy off one of them uh in the course that we the online course which will be coming out probably in january we do offer a lot more um i guess strenuous courses that are uh, strenuous uh, exchanges that we do go through so there's about five or six that we actually show you how to buy on um, as they all are all, well they offer different different qualities that you need to um i guess to to operate them but um for the purpose of this particular video i'm just going to be taking you through one so as i said cardano when you click on the actual coin it will take you to a page that's to do with their chart so just looking at their chart growth uh so you can see that this coin particularly came out in around october the 1st 2017 that's when it hit the market and you can see it's continued growth so i don't know you might look at this and go yep i definitely want to buy now you know you've confirmed your interest so what would you then do next that's really what i want to be showing you um in terms of buying off an exchange also on here as i've said you can click on markets now this is where it would show you where everything it's being listed for bitcoin it had thousands hundreds of, of exchanges being listed on because this this particular coin is fairly new to the market it's only been listed on one two three four exchanges mr ripple coin nest bitrex and binance and i think coin nest is quite is quite new now what this second column shows is the currency pairs uh there's always a currency pair in in an exchange so if you look at the forex market for example foreign exchange when you go on holiday uh, to the United States, for instance, you are therefore selling your pounds to buy the US dollar. There's always a currency pair. It's not just the one that you're exchanging. There has to be two in the mix. So this is saying that it's Cardano for Bitcoin, Cardano for Ethereum, uh, Cardano for Ripple, uh, etc. So what that means is that you know what you which exchange you should go on depending on which i guess currency that you actually have so if you've got ethereum you know you're going to be buying or selling on this side if you've got bitcoin on these etc etc so for the purpose of today i want to take you through one exchange the one i want to show you is actually let me show you this page as well so if you wanted to actually see a list of the exchanges you can buy off you can also click here on trade volume on the front page and then click 24 hour volume rankings for exchange or the 24 hour volumes obviously for currency but for the purpose of today the exchanges i just want to click on the which ones i guess are trading the highest so you can see bithump is an exchange it's got bitcoin ethereum classic these are all the ones that you can buy on this particular exchange and obviously you can view more so if i've looked at this and go i know i want to buy ethereum i know i can go to that particular exchange bitfinex GDAX, but the one I want to focus on today is my favorite, which is Bitrex. And there it is, number nine, Cardano. That's what we're going to be focused on today. 28,784,200 is the volume in the last 24 hours. It's gone through zero point, it's around 10 cents at the moment in terms of its price. And it's got a 2.55% volume. So the next stage I'm going to go to is logging into my Bitrex account. Now, this is what the home page will look like if i just click it again for you guys when you first log on this is one of what's what's it's going to look like when you first logged in um and 
literally you could just have a play around again it's going to have a few more currency pairs for the bitcoin market especially if you wanted to buy nxt ethereum litecoin bitcoin cash cardano is what we're interested in, which is obviously there i can see the currency pair but if you couldn't see it on the front page again for ethereum and the usdt but if i didn't see my currency pair on the front page i could click here and just type it in here with this code now cardano's actual uh, symbol is ada which is ada so you've got to know the symbol in fact let me try and type in cardano and see if it comes up no it wouldn't so you have to know the symbol and you get the symbol from coin market cap which is why it's so important you know uh ada is there that's the symbol right there ada and that's what i'm going to type in my search bar when i get into my bitrex to find that coin now once i've clicked on it it's going to take me to the front page and again i did show you a slight chart on the on the on the last um on the coin market cap and maybe that's confirmed you know you want to get in and buy but another chart actually comes up on bitrex which may be even more interesting for um for people that are beginners and getting into the market or just to confirm your interest in that particular coin at that particular time if you you know if you really want to get in at that particular moment is it a good time to buy another chart will come up um and this is something that you can also analyze as well so this might just reconfirm your interest i know that this is just coming off a of support now is this a good time to buy it looks like this could rise a bit further so for me this is actually this is actually a good time to buy this could actually be a good 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 rebound for this particular coin it looks like it's had a slight retracement and correction in the market and now it looks like it's going to rise with three bullish candlesticks in a row um now this is where we get into actually purchasing that particular coin so on this side you have the bids now this is the purpose of buying ada so this is all the buyers on this side and over here we have the asks and this is the process of selling ada which means that you have all the sellers over here now again there's a currency pair this particular one is bitcoin for cardano because that's what i've got in my particular wallet and uh, over here it would be selling cardano to actually purchase bitcoin in return if it was ethereum cardano it would be the total opposite it wouldn't be bitcoin it would be ethereum that you're buying or selling for ada so down here if i wanted to sell say i want to just i know i want to sell everything here i want to buy ada with every single penny of bitcoin i wouldn't have to enter a single amount i would just click the max button and it would enter it here for me 0 0.2 it's basically just copied and pasted everything above and that's the amount of ada i'm going to get which hasn't been revealed yet because i haven't clicked the price if i know the actual amount i want to put it say if i just want zero point i want to sell 0 0.2 of my bitcoin for ada and the rest i want to keep in in bitcoin i'll click 0 0.2 now this is the most important bit is the price you're actually wanting to buy at now here as i said these are all the buyers in the market so the top price is just the highest price that someone's bidding for this particular for ada at the moment so if you want to buy quickly i know that i can just enter the highest amount if i just double click here it's going to put it in at the highest price i know that that's just going to buy it very quickly if i can wait you know i'm not i'm not too fast i can get it in maybe at a cheaper price and double click here but most of the time when i'm coming onto the exchange because i don't really keep my my money on the exchange what i do is actually keep it in my wallet so if i've actually transferred it to the exchanges because i want to buy quickly so i'm just going to go in and buy at the highest price that's the best thing for me to do is to double click here come in at the highest price once you click the price it will then tell you the amount of ada or cardano that you're actually getting in your particular wallet for the amount of bitcoin that you're willing to sell at the price you're willing to your buy at so once you click that i'm not going to click buy on this particular one because i don't actually want to purchase um ada but once you click buy what it will then do is you scroll down to my order history and it will start to show you the amount of units that have been filled and the processing rate that it's buying at. and to be fair it would be very very quick just i can tell because of how buoyant the market is even though the prices are constantly changing you can see the amount people are looking to buy how consistent it is it's, it's very 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 buoyant at the moment so i know that that would feel quickly on this side is selling so it's exactly the same process if i were if i actually bought cardano and i'm looking to sell and convert that back into bitcoin i would literally do exactly the same thing i would just say the amount of bitcoin 
I'm willing to purchase back. Again, if that was 0 0.25 perhaps. And again, this one would be what I'm selling at the price if I just double click. And it would just tell me instantly what I'm selling at. Click sell. And again, you go down to sell your my order history. Now, what you would then do is click on your wallet. Once the orders have been filled, and it should be quite quick with Cardano, as I said, the market's very buoyant. You would then click your wallet, and what this would reveal is basically your holdings. So what would happen is this 0 0.2, or the amount I bought, would actually then move into pending deposit because it would be coming out of my, of my balance before it then moves out completely. And then you would see in ADA, you would see it start to move into your uh, apologies. It, it your Cardano would move into a pending deposit before it moves into your available balance, and it's your actual Bitcoin that would be moving out of your balance completely before it moves into ADA. So those are that's how you can check. This is your wallet, which is on the exchange. On my other uh, YouTube video, I've had showed showed you how to set up a Bitcoin wallet, which is the green address one. So if you were to move your money off the exchange into a wallet, you would then go through the process of obviously minus it if you're going to send it off or adding it if you're going to deposit onto the exchange which i have done for this particular purpose of of which i was going to do is buy cardano now also on this site what you can see is if you click on orders this would then obviously give you a history again that you've made uh on this particular site for any coin um and that's also interesting to see when you've bought them, the time you've bought them. And that's also interesting for your portfolio that you're going to be recording um, to keep track of these trades. So once you've actually bought it, you would then enter these digits down here into your portfolio tracker just to keep a track of profits and losses. Uh, also on this site, you can click on settings. And now what this will refer to you is a lot of the verification processes that you have to go through. So the basic verification, the steps you have to go through on each one to make sure that your account is verified. Um, very, very important to be highly verified to get the tier three, tier four verification, just the one before your business level. Very, very, very important. This is your enhanced verification. So this is past your email, date of birth. This is your passport, etc. And this just it gives you basically unlimited in terms of the, the amount you can buy on that particular exchange. You don't want it to limit you to certain amounts, um, etc. And just gives you the full use, basically. Uh, also, your password. Make sure it's a really, really strong password. I have also mentioned this before in the past, but make sure you're using not just a generic word and phrase and, and number. The best password is always going to be maybe an old Wi-Fi password that you don't forget. It's going to be really, really hard to hack. Also, obviously, what we teach this also on the course about asset protection and safeguarding against hackers. But two factor is very, very, very important. It's just another layer of, um, I guess, of of protection for your um, for your for your safety and for your wallet and your 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 hard earned money that you've put into this. Your withdrawal addresses you can put in, enable account. Everything you want to change is in is in your settings. Um, so that's basically it for me again don't forget the wallet is where you're going to see when things have been deposited or where you're looking to withdraw um your order history is there and the front page you literally just enter up here to type in the symbol that you're looking to buy so if there's not none there they always give a list of the top ones at the moment but if you can't see your coin there you just enter it in for instance if i want to buy vert coin or ripple i just type in the symbol xrp and that's the one i want to click on guys i hope you enjoyed the video i hope this was very very informative for you i hope you can now take this on to the next stage and hopefully you're very very comfortable buying off this particular exchange if you do want to know more about more exchanges and how to buy as they all do come with different difficulties please please do obviously sign up to the course which is going to be out online courses coming in january we will be keeping you updated so please like and subscribe if this was very, very helpful. Uh, you know our social medias by now. That's at my digital finance on YouTube, on Instagram, on Telegram, and also at my digital finance today on Facebook and at digital finance three on Twitter. Guys, I hope this was helpful. I'll see you on the next one.